California Democrat politicians are plotting to keep Donald Trump's name off the 2024 ballot so he can't run for president. Coming up, we'll tell you about their scheme, why it's illegal, and how you can join the fight to stop them. I'm Carl DeMaio, chairman of Reform California, and this should come as no surprise. California Democrat politicians are actively trying to remove Donald Trump from the 2024 presidential election by simply not listing his name on the ballot. Now, let me tell you a little bit about their plot. Um, this is not the first time they've tried to bar Donald Trump from appearing on the ballot. You may remember back in uh, the 2020 election, California Democrats passed a law that said that any presidential candidate that did not list or release their uh, private personal tax returns would be ineligible to run for president in their state and would not be able to be listed on their ballot. Uh, that law was ultimately overturned. Here's a Cal Matters article from November of 2019, why California's top court just struck down the state's Trump tax law. And it details their scheme back there uh, in 20, um, 2019. They passed this bill, Governor Newsom uh, grandstanded on the, uh, uh, the whole issue of Trump's tax returns. And so California was the only state in the, the country to pass a bill saying, well, at least in our state, we're not going to list Trump's name on our ballot. It'll be one of the qualifications that they have to meet in order to run for office in our state. So uh, the Democrats passed it in uh, 2019. Uh, Newsom uh, signed it into law. But uh, as the um, uh, court ruled, a um, uh, uh, the, the law, and the law is still technically on the books, as it relates to federal candidates for office, only the U.S. Constitution and only the federal government can stipulate rules for federal candidates. And, you know, they point out that the U.S. Constitution sets forth a limited set of qualifications for those wanting to run for president. They have to be a natural born citizen over the age of 35 who's lived in the United States for at least 14 years. Uh, and it, while the Supreme Court allows states to, to govern when and how elections are to be conducted uh, consistent with federal law, um, in terms of who gets to be eligible to run for the office, that is not something that a state uh, legislature gets to decide on. But nonetheless, we are back here in 2023 with a similar scheme going uh, going on. Uh, for the past several weeks, we've heard uh, chatter uh, across the country, but in increasingly here in California, um, that we need to disqualify President Trump for running for, for office because he led an insurrection. And in the 14th Amendment, there is language, uh, 14th Amendment to the Constitution, there's language that says that no one who participated in a rebellion or insurrection against the government uh, shall be eligible to run or hold any, any office of the federal government. Now, that language was introduced in the wake of the Civil War. Uh, it really dealt with uh, Southern um, uh, members of the Confederacy. Um, the, the language that's being cited by Democrats does not apply to Donald Trump in so many ways. Uh, because you'd have to argue that somehow what he was doing on January 6th uh, was a rebellion against the government. Uh, that is a very tenuous argument to make. I know that the rabid Democrats accept it whole cloth. Um, but in order to disqualify someone from running for office, you need a conviction, a conviction that they've broken the law, that there's actually uh, a jury that has uh, met and decided that this person uh, did indeed commit an insurrection, you have to actually have the goods. And might I add that uh, Trump's impeachment in the Senate uh, basically found him not guilty by the rules of the Senate um, for similar accusations back in the second impeachment trial against Trump. But I digress. Here is California Congressman Adam Schiff. Now, remember, he's running for U.S. Senate in California. And I guarantee you that he's going to make this a cause in the next several months leading up to December. And I'll tell you why December is important in just a moment. But here's what Adam Schiff had to say on MSNBC talking to Jen Psaki on her show. There's an argu argument uh, circulating about whether the 14th Amendment that prohibits 
someone, in, quote, engaged in insurrection or rebellion from holding public office bars Trump from running for president. Now, this hasn't been tested in our system before. Uh, do you think, what is your thought on whether that's a valid argument? I think it is a valid argument. Uh, you know, the 14th Amendment, uh, Section 3, is pretty clear. If you engage in acts of insurrection or rebellion against the government, or you give aid and comfort to those who do, you are disqualified. Wait a minute, running. aid and comfort to those that are pushing against the, the, the federal government. Um, what about Joe Biden giving aid and comfort through his son and his family enterprise to the Chinese and, and the, the Ukrainians and the Russians? I mean, don't even get me started, Adam Schiff. Uh, this guy is a liar. This guy has repeatedly lied. He has never been held accountable for the lies that he has spread over the years. But hey, he's, uh, again, one of the leading chorus members of the Never Trumper uh, crowd on the left. It doesn't require that you be convicted of insurrection. Uh, it just requires... By the way, that is not true at all. You can't say that someone has done something unless, uh, in other words, a crime, uh, unless someone has convicted them. And there's, there's something called uh, due process, Mr. Schiff, in the Constitution. No matter how you like to gaslight your Democrat rabid base, uh, there is still the law that you have to follow. So he is literally lying here to the American people um, about what it would take to deem Trump to be someone who engaged in an insurrection. It requires a finding of fact by um, a, a jury convicting him of that crime. It is a crime. Therefore, a jury must first find him guilty of that crime. You know, Mr. Schiff probably doesn't want you to remember that in this country, Americans are fundamentally fair. The U.S. Constitution is quite clear. Everyone accused of a crime is presumed to be innocent until found guilty in a court of law and afforded their due process rights. That uh, you have engaged in these acts. It's a disqualification from holding office again. Uh, and it fits Donald Trump to a T. Uh, I think this will be tested when a secretary of state either refuses to put him on the ballot or puts him on the ballot and is challenged by a litigant. All right. Remember what he just said, the secretary of state. Remember the secretary of state. More on that in just a minute. Um, I would imagine it will go up to the Supreme Court. And that's the big question mark through all of this, which is, what will the Supreme Court do? There are prominent constitutional scholars, as well as prominent uh, progressive scholars, uh, who believe that he should be disqualified. But uh, will the court take that step? Ultimately, uh, only time will tell. But I do think uh, it is a very legitimate issue by the clear terms of the 14th Amendment. He should be. So basically he's throwing, uh, you know, chum in the water to his liberal rabid base. He's going to make a cause celeb out of this because he's running in California. And in California, who calls the shots? The Democrats do. They have a mega majority, not just a super majority. And who is the secretary of state? More on that in just a minute. The rabid base is already focusing on California because they know they have the best shot to get Trump off the ballot in California because it's not like there's any political balance in our system. So Move On, which is a national left-wing uh, canvassing and organizing platform, uh, is sending a message to California Secretary of State Shirley Weber, a Democrat, disqualify Donald Trump in California. Again, this is a national platform, but they're focusing on the secretary of state of which state? California. Now, you know darn well that no matter how hard Donald Trump tries, and I know that there's always hope, I don't think a Republican's going to win California for president this cycle. If you're a betting person, you, it would be a pretty safe bet. But again, you can always dream. Uh, but right here, this petition that's going around nationally is focused on California Secretary of State Shirley Weber. Why? She is the ultimate decider. In California, our paperwork for our election has to be submitted by every candidate, including candidates for president, no later than the first week of December. It's just around the corner. That's in a matter of you know a couple months. Donald Trump would have to pull papers. His team would have to start the process sometime in mid-November. As soon as mid-November, the California Secretary of State, without a vote of the legislature, without an act of the, the governor, 
can simply say, I am the chief election officer and I deem Donald Trump ineligible to pull papers. Or she could wait till he submits papers and says, I'm not accepting the papers. I'm not listing you on the ballot. Remember, the California Secretary of State is responsible for certifying that every candidate meets the requirements for the office that they are seeking prior to them being printed on any one ballot in California. There is immense power in the California Secretary of State's office. Now, when she makes that determination, I guarantee you that's where this is headed. The Democrats are laying this all out. They've got a safe lock on all California politics. They have a favorable media enterprise out here. It's not like Shirley Weber will ever be in danger. So she's going to make this determination. And it's going to happen early because California has moved up its primary to March 5th. We're one of the earliest states for the California primaries, uh, for the presidential primaries. And so by December, there will be a constitutional crisis. And Trump's team rightfully so, will contest Weber's decision in court. And I ultimately believe that Cal the U.S. Supreme Court, the U.S. Supreme Court gets to decide this, will issue a temporary restraining order or a permanent injunction uh, instructing the California Secretary of State to put Trump on the ballot. Now, why are they doing, why are they doing this? They know that this is not legal, but their base, they know that they can rile up their base. This is intentional dishonesty designed to get donations for Adam Schiff, to get notoriety for Shirley Weber, to get the Democrat base all riled up, and it repeats the big lie. They constantly want to keep Donald Trump in the news and constantly say that somehow he is uh, you know, the worst thing ever. He led a coup against the government. It's perpetuating their narrative, their lie. They want to destroy this man, no matter what. And any opportunity they have to make controversy ha a controversy happen, even if they know the law's not on their side, even if they know what they're doing, even a first year law student would dismiss. Even when they know the US Supreme Court, particularly this Supreme Court, is gonna absolutely nullify their actions, they're still gonna do it. And you have to ask yourself why. Why are they trying to do this? because they are playing politics. They're not really trying to do what's right under the law. Frankly, they're, 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 they're playing politics in the positions where they're supposed to be impartial arbiters. The California Secretary of State is not supposed to be a Democrat Secretary of State. She's supposed to be an impartial Secretary of State. So this is our top story today, and that is the effort to keep Donald Trump off the ballot in the 2024 20, uh, election and not let you decide if you think that this is unfair, if you find this to be illegal, if you find this to be an abuse of power, help us fight back. At Reform California, we are leading the fight to try to flip seats all around the state and to oppose the Democrat super and mega majority status in this state. The reason why Shirley, Shirley Weber, a secretary of state, can get by with this is that there's no consequence. At least they don't think there's a consequence. But that's why our movement exists. So I want you to do a few things. First, go to the website, reformcalifornia.org. Check out our news stories, share them, contribute. The average contributor is giving $67 a year, which is about $5 a month. Sign up to be a monthly contributor or just chip in on a one-time basis. Sign up to be a volunteer. We distribute our voter guide through that website as well so that you know the plain English description on ballot measures, as well as who are the good candidates running for every office, including judge and school board. Also, share and like this video and subscribe to this channel. Help us goose up the algorithm so that more Californians hear what this mega majority of Democrats are trying to do in California to literally say voters don't get to decide who gets to be the nominee for their parties. No, no, no. The power barons in Sacramento get to do it, and they're going to do it by breaking the law and playing politics when they should be, you know, nonpartisan, uh, neutral arbiters of uh, of, of the elections out here. So please like and subscribe to this channel and like and, and uh, share this video so we can break through the censorship of the liber me liberal media and reach more people. Donald Trump, whether you support him or oppose him, deserves to have his name placed on the ballot. That's what we're fighting for, fundamental fairness against a tyrannical mega majority in California. Until next time, this is Carl DeMaio with Reform California. Thanks for watching. 
Help us break through the censorship of the liberal media by liking this video, sharing it with your friends, and subscribe to my YouTube channel.